straight into the game. So moving on to the units. Yeah, here we go. So EG, same map, Harbor City, but EG this time on the attack. Yeah, it seems like they are choosing similar approach when it comes to units. For now, triple Falcos, Flamethrowers, and one unit of Hussars. So very similar matchup in that regard. It would kind of make sense traditionally, not many, and unless it gets down to the last few minutes, I mean, trying to hold the A-point on this map is difficult once the towers are actually in. So I think that would kind of be a logical thing to do, save their units, don't waste themselves trying to, you know, fling themselves at a point that they can't. No real, well, no real movement on any of the towers. They're all getting pretty well taken out before they get in. All of them are pretty low, even the middle one. I don't know how they're going to say that. It's still about half health. It's got a Huacha shooting in on it, and now a Culverin is sat up at the back as well, which damage that tower is so nearly down. I think one more Javelin volley is going to end up taking down this uh, middle right-hand tower. If they manage it. Yeah, oh, there it goes. Okay. Although they will be spawn of, spawn, spawn of Mortar uh, on this. Start to put some real damage in it against it soon. So we're actually going to get the tower in, then it's probably worth it. And I think it's almost certainly going to make it. Yeah, 70% HP made it to the wall. Yep. And bing! <laughs> yeah, and the Falconet you mentioned a moment ago, Charuna, uh, they are pretty much all gone. Two left of them on the, with the trebuchet fire. Yeah. They have used look at that, most uh, of their trebuchets now. They're only going to have oh, there is double, nice one. There is double Sally out with Berserkers from Keyboard Warriors through the gate, and they, they are coming to the back of Headgecker. You can see if this will be successful in the minute. Ah! Are they going to climb the ladders there? Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's, that's sneaky. That's what that doing. is a very sneaky move. Looking at the main push, though, it seems like Keyboard fun. Warrior are very heavily counter-attacking. Going into the trebuchet on the stairs is going to be very painful. And Gegner very nicely pushing here with the Siphon AoE, making sure that this close-range flame damage is on point. But yeah, the A point yeah. uh, counter-attack from Keyboard Warriors was very successful. They managed to push out most of the Gegner forces. Yeah. They're starting to get the pressure on now. They are starting to build up on towards the A. I think they're going to get this here because they're not pushing back up the stairs, which is the right thing, I think, for Keyboard Warriors to do. And now they're just killing off what's left. And now they're pretty much got a clear run onto, onto the A point. Just one unit of Falcos left in the Culverin. So I don't think that's going to be stopping them. Yeah, but those trebuchets, those were the key enablers. The first one landing on top of the stairs killed pretty much half of the units that Keyboard Warriors had at this flank. Other flank looked very yep. nice. They all, and they've just gone straight back to base and they're setting up from there, which is, I think, absolutely the right thing that they should be doing here. Pike, Stalwarts in that block. Ooh, it's a fairly tough one to break. Trying to get a Treb in, but I don't think it's going to land. Yeah, even well, the Falcon line will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they do. Though. Very heavy mortar placement right now from Gegner. Shields covering everything. Yep. Forte, Forte Braccios here covering both angles. Falconet is preparing to shoot. Because some, some Falconetti or Siphonary, yeah. Yeah, and Magda actually being the other one on Arminger Lancers. He is right now constantly putting pressure on far left supply point, lurking around. But look at the fight on the corner. Seems like defenders indeed yeah. wanted to fully on, go on with aggressiveness. Supported by Falconetis from the buff. This is very looking very nicely from the defenders, but and Gegner, the damage dealers they have with grape shots, with Falconetti, with Siphonaoi, and double Falconetti yeah, on top of that. That's, that's looking that's looking very problematic for the Warriors. Ooh, yeah. I don't, I don't know why they're just letting Socialist Hippie at the back though work through those Falconetti. Look, no one seems to be engaging him. Why are they not taking him out? They're just letting look at the rotation. wipe through that whole Falco line. Yeah, rotation to the back right now as the keyboard warriors decided to do heavy push with their own Siphonaoi from the behind. And this is very heavy fire from both sides right now. But uh, yeah, and Gegner seems like they're being on top of that on both flanks. Yeah, absolutely. They managed to control it. I, I don't know why they, that's so moved by Socialist Dippy there, right through. Absolutely amazing movie. Took out so many Falcos. Can't believe they didn't take him out. They're getting on to point though now. And remember, if they win this game, then this is going to be it. They have definitely got the unit advantage, almost a 300 unit lead. Yeah, but on the point Trying itself, this is point. just a just couple of pikes and a couple of shields left. Not that much. And yeah. Keyboard yeah. Warriors having respawn much closer. They are reinforcing right now with some more land knefts and some more Imperial pikes. So this push is not yeah. going to be successful for the Gegner as they are having their uh, rear flank as well, pressured heavily by cavalry. Yeah, those hussars coming around. Yeah, absolutely. 
I wonder how many losses in Gegner are going to take here. If they're not careful, then it could be quite costly. Yeah. Can you tell us how many uh, players? Oh, look, look, who starts from behind, from Trilling right now, charging through all of this. Oh, oh my. Oh. All right. Countered from Imperial Pikes. Nice. This could do so much damage. Great reaction yeah. there from Keyboard Warrior. Yeah, and can I can tell now? Can I tell us how many players have three deaths? Easily been my man of the match so far, particularly with this move against those Falco. He's played really, really well. This, as you say, being a real pain. Look, they're still there. Getting the players chasing and we're back onto the A point. You know, just being a pain, which is exactly what he needs to be doing. Mm -hmm. and look at that beautiful placement. Yeah, this artillery placement, much more aggressive. And Gegner know they, that keyboard warriors don't have anything right now to counter these artillery pieces, so they can place them as close yeah. as they want. And they are shooting very heavily with some Falcos left. That's going to be crucial damage dealing squad in the back here. Yep, yeah, I completely agree. Here we go, the first death of the final push. And that is uh, Lehman out of the game now. It's his third death. It and is Gegner have the final showdown. <laughs> yeah, and Gegner have a lot of units here, but most of these units are either Namkans, Pike Militia, not that great, but uh, the, the numbers win here. Like uh, Keyboard Warriors, they have just yeah. sergeants, Javelin Sergeants left on this flank and a couple of players. Another yeah. unit of Javelin Sergeant coming right now from the corner and some cavalry yeah. from behind, but yeah, Beard of King cannot find yeah. any entrance right now. Everything is blocked no, by No, got those Fortabrachos set up. Absolutely the right move. Thank God they put those Fortabrachos behind them to cover themselves. Otherwise, that would have been a nasty rear charge. Mm -hmm. But the front charge is coming in. Here and and Gegner is ready yeah, for that. Yeah, here we go. Mm, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Look how great the numbers, shot Look how quickly they died. Numbers yeah. speak very loudly here for Ed Gegner. Yeah. I think this is pretty much game, set, and matched in Gegner here. 14 versus 1 right now. Beard of Queen last alive. Yeah, zero. valiantly trying to get on the point to try and hold it. And that is the entire team white. There's currently no Close one left game. alive. Ooh. There we go. That's going to give Engegna their fourth win and the tournament. I think that makes them in first place. Yes, that's it. That's it. Yeah. GG. Wow. GG. Intensive last game. What a roller coaster. Very intensive.